Um, you guys have heard of ASMR, right? So uh, do we know what ASMR stands for? What's the deal with it? ASMR What's the deal is, with what you guys are ASMR about? is when you talk really slow. Does it feel like I'm everywhere in your Can head? Can we guess what the acronym is for some yeah, reason? Sure, yeah, sure. Go clear. Acute sound. I need to ask you again. Does it feel like I'm just everywhere? Because I am. I'm in your head. No. I am you. Yeah. I am so all of you. So acute sound. Jason, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Look, it's me. In here. I'm in here with you. I'm going to go. I'm going to go upstairs. And I'm going to turn on your mind. Yeah. Oh my God! How did you get in here? Okay, I think we got it. We, we got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Rob wants out. Welcome to Smartless. Smart. So guys, I'm sorry I'm I'm late. Um, I start with a reason why you're not wearing a hat. Why we got to look uh, at what is we're. Is Skevo on holiday? What's going on with Skevo? <laughs> wait, oh, did I tell you I met Skevo? I, I didn't get a yes, schedule wait. on Skevo. Did we talk last time about that I met Skevo? No, I th yeah. no, but I know that you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was in there uh, getting this done to my head. Oh, it um, looks good, by the way, Jay. I paid for it. Believe it. It looks um, really good. Stop it. It does the length. Um, and then there was Skevo. And Skevo, like, is not nearly as, God, I got to say this kindly. Um, <laughs> the name will point you in a certain direction yeah, of and anticipation. Then, and here's this, like, Greek god. And he's beautifully short of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's he's a pretty cool dude. Yeah. Okay. So 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 Sean, so you're sorry you're late today because so I, was one minute, I was one minute late. I'm not making this up. I literally just went to the mail and something was dropped over the fence and it's for Scotty and it's from this company. Bare bottom. <laughs> B e a r b o so double. It literally -O -O. describes him in two words. A bare bottom. <laughs> he's clothing. a bear and he's a bottom. Listen, <laughs> this is great to know. <laughs> I swear does to God, it say, it was, I just picked it up in the mail. Does it say noisy on the other side? <laughs> does it say power? It's so what is, where, what is what does bare bottom make for clothing? I don't know. Should uh, I open it? Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're like shorts. Oh, there's just shorts. Oh, so they're shorts. Um, um, I would like to say the one thing I did think about uh, to, and we, we rarely do think of anything to say on this show, um, non shocker, any importance. Um, is just it, is how much this is not working for me, Will. You spending uh, your summer out of town. I, know. I don't, I don't, I don't really get. Isn't. I mean, I get you've got a lot of money, and people with a lot of money need to figure out ways to spend it, and you yeah, found one not there. True. But this isn't working for uh, for me. Us. Well, like Jay and I are going to the Dodgers game tonight. Yeah, I know. And like, I know. You should be I, I was there invited and... to go to. I was invited to go with you guys. Obviously, you know yeah. that, and I would love to go with you. And but who is this good for? I bet you it 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 weirds the kids out. The dogs probably all freaked out. What's this house? Um, well, the kids were missing you. The um, kids, the kids love it, and you know the kids. The kids love being out here, and you know, obviously, I used to live in New York, and so I sold my apartment and I bought a house out at the beach, which is why I'm here, and I thank like. Thank God it you're out not here. saying Long Island anymore. I mean, well, let's stop hiding. Okay, <laughs> yeah. it's, it, you live in the Hamptons. Yeah, you listen, know, listen. and you, and you, yeah. how many very Range Rovers are in the driveway? Zero. Huh? You nope. got those in L.A. All GMCs. They're all GMCs. <laughs> Why? Because they're prof well, we grade? are professional grade. Sure, yeah. oh, sure. Yeah. I got a new uh, AT4X on its way. It's a beautiful pickup truck mm -hmm. from uh, GMC. Well, but but um, I saw pictures of that. That was it's good looking. It's real. It's real handsome. And and uh, I'm coming and, out there in two weeks. Well, and it's got a multi pro tailgate. Now you're coming out in two weeks, Sean. Yes, that's what I just said. How long are you guys coming for? One night. One night. What night is it? I don't remember. Just one night. Well, uh, I don't understand. Yeah, well, we... oh, because then, then you're flying to come see me. That's and right. Where are you going to spend seven nights with me? Well, maybe like four. Really? Are you going to cut it short? Yeah, because we're going to get a NASA. We're going to get a tour of NASA in Florida first before I see you. And then you're going to go to the Bahamas and do a tour of NASA. <sighs> Wonderful, oh, Will. Will. So tight. That's fantastic. Really tight. I know. I know. Are Thank we you guys. rolling, guys? Did you get any? I love of that? getting. I love getting instant feedback. Um. <laughs> anyway, you want to get to it. Let's get to it. Let's you get want to get to it? Let's get to it. Because I think you, you're going to be happy. Okay. <sighs> Today, we have a man who is half of a famous comedy duo. 
He's been educated by the smart folks at Sarah Lawrence. He's performed at Second City in Chicago, Sean. He starred in two big TV shows, probably more, just not good at research. Produced a few of them, probably more, not good at research. He's voiced characters in multiple animated hit films. But you know him and love him for his recent work behind the camera as a writer, producer, and badass director of three incredible films, two of which we've seen. These have yielded four Academy Award nominations and one win. His new yeah. film will undoubtedly add to all of that because it looks triple good, or as the kids like to say, dope, which rhymes with nope, which is the name of the <gasps> film. Oh Here's my God, Jordan, it's Jordan Peele. Peele. No. Oh, no way. oh, 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 God, look at that. He's taking God, that no one's so ever taken good. a bow, you guys. Wow. God, it's next level. Yes. You took a bow like the opposite way. Your head went way I up. I took a so bow. Right on an audio podcast. Jordan, I was oh just talking oh, about guys, you today. Guys, don't choke the puppy, all right? Just ease off. Back off, back off. I was off. just talking about him today. So I, I, I had to just say that. Wait, here I, I am, in the flesh. We're very, I'm very excited that you're here. This is so exciting. <laughs> I, it's so exciting to meet you. I, you know, you we're going to get to it, but I'm. it's like the number one movie I'm most excited to see out of I, anything. I watched the trailer a half a dozen yeah, times. Yeah, I've seen the hut trailer a million times. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen I've seen your the clicks that that you have put mm-hmm. on the YouTube trailer. <laughs> He's got a lock on our IP addresses. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. Thank you. While we're talking about the, the trailer here, yeah. do you cut your own trailers um, or uh-huh. do you have meaningful consultation? I love that phrase. Mm. Um, or do you let the fine folks at Universal get it all done and vendor that that stuff out? Because the trailers for your films are are equally incredible. Uh, you can't and use original. vendor as a verb. Don't say vendor that stuff out. That's vendor one of that the grossest things. You can, can't you? you? Know, no, but you just tried to slide it in there, and it's one of the most disgusting things. <sighs> and, and a fucking Sorry, guys, a long on, say, list Will, of Will, dis- can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Hit it. Hit it. Yes. Okay. And I'm really nervous. So guys, whenever you're ready, I can. Hey, man, we're back. We're back. Sorry. Go ahead, Jordan. So we're talking trailers? Did you Did you get your hands on that at all? Well, yeah, man. Look, a lot of I think a lot of uh, directors are envious of of the trailers that I, I get to put out, and yeah. and I have to give um, Universal uh, Marketing just a lot of credit. They bring just great work, and they're collaborative. You know, we've had success from Get Out, right? You, yeah. So you'll they'll let you poke around. Oh yeah, they'll let me yeah. poke around. Yeah, yeah, they'll yeah. Let me poke around. Yeah, in the very beginning, you know, we had to make some the strong decisions. Like, you know, in in uh, in Get Out, you know, we were the the whole question of do you do you let out the mm-hmm. that that rose right. that the that the evil white girl that the, the white girl right. is evil? Do you let that out? Is that the thing uh-huh. that's going to bring people? Okay, well now I have to see the evil white girl movie. And so we we together chose not to to do that. And we made the right choice, I think. But it <laughs> meant that you couldn't really put a certain section of the film in the materials, right? I mean, you could. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it, it kind of, but it was, but it was worth it because I mean that was, it was the right it. move. That's a huge. It was huge the right thing. move. For you know, Get Out is also one of my favorite movies of all time. Well, thank and you. And I love yeah. it. So I've seen it a million wow. times. No, no, you haven't. No, There's see, no way. That's impossible. I'm starting to. No, yeah. it's fine. But if, if that number just pops up, yeah, that like, number is a just, fucking. That's a. That's yeah. No, terrible. we have it on record. We have it on record. So, but wait. Did you? That was your first movie you ever directed. First movie ever. First movie ever. And how yeah. how did that happen? Because it's flawless. Oh, stop! And it's yeah. And he wins an Academy Award for writing it. I you know. know. I mean, like wh- you guys. You guys how, it's how too did much. That, it's true. Did you have a, Did have you have a, a sit down with yourself and say, you sit down with Chelsea probably and say, now baby, yeah. uh, what you're probably going to witness for the next. Uh, 20, 30 years is just a, a rapid descent from the peak of the, like, how could it ever get better? Were you prepared for just like, uh, it's too much too soon? And then you went ahead and doubled it with us, probably tripled oh, it with, with, I mean, just look at probably. it Probably. I mean, well, thank you. No, I mean, look, it, yeah, dude, it was, it was so much pressure and, Yet at the same time, you know, so many opportunities opened up because of that thing. And, and literally the opportunity to say, okay, what story, you know, to be able to write something knowing it's going to get made is a whole different right. thing. Yeah. Yeah. A whole different thing. And that it's it's got to be at least as good because they're going to be waiting for you to be a one-hit wonder. Right. And then like all of that That's pressure right. th- to still let your creativity come through without having it be muted or strangled mm-hmm. by that pressure. How did you how did you push through that? You know, you embrace the risk that only you can take. 
Yeah. You know, because that's really the position you're at. You have you have more leeway, so you have to take a big gobble of risk and do something you're kind of not supposed to do each time. Right. And, uh, and that was us. And that was us to me yeah, at, at the time. Big swing, and you nailed it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I uh, I'm so proud of these movies. I'm so proud of this movie. I'm about to um, unleash on the world. Yeah. When does it come out? When does it come out? Uh, it comes out the twenty second. 22nd of July. So this is this might be right around that time. Um, Jordan, I want to say, let me ask you this question. You, you know, obviously Keen Peel was, yeah. I, I think, one of the one of the most trailblazing TV shows of the last 25 years. For sure. Yeah. You guys wrote some unbelievable sketches on that show that Thank are still you. memorable that I still go and look at today. And... I'm not one of those people who constantly, who constantly goes like, hey, you know, brings up bits that other people do for whatever reason. But your sketches from that show uh -huh. are, have, for me, have been a touchstone of really funny, uh, um, really original. I love, I mean, I'm not, I'm not unique in that way, but I, I love really original comedy. And you guys did incredible original comedy. And do you, how much writing of that do you think prepared you for this next chapter that you're yeah. in now? Writing sketch, because it's such a discipline, right? Because yes. I think all of us were like, we love you from, just to piggyback on what Will says, we all obviously love you from Key and Peele and everything you've done before Get Out. So when Get Out came out, we're like, but it, wait, what? But but it's not surprising because you wrote no, so many not great sketches. Was that like a training ground, do you think? D did that sort of give you a kind of discipline? To be good, fast? Yeah, I mean, fuck, yeah. Yeah, you know, the, the sketch to me is about a, a couple of things that I think the, the movies are also about. And with sketch, you get this, one of the things you get is a, a great training ground for just that, getting to sort of push the boundaries and, and, and understand audience. And you get to commit to something just, you know, for three minutes at a time. And sometimes you take too big a swing, sometimes you don't take big enough a swing, but you get calibrated in that whole in what to swing for, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of what I think makes one of my movies, one of my movies is that, you know, from the early stages and, and every stage through, I'm, I am trying to think of how can that, how can I take a risk? What is the right risk to, to take here? Because that's what people need. That's what people really mm -hmm. deserve is something that's fucking sketchy to do and to pull off and to convince a studio to let you do has to be that. Mm -hmm. Well, and like a lot of your sketches, you guys would take a kernel of an idea and you would keep doubling down on it and keep heightening it in a way that was like, and you were like, oh, fuck these guys. Oh, and they've and now they're heightening it again, which is just the nature of really good uh, comedy. Yeah, I mean, right? Well, this is you guys. You know, this is these are the rules that all you guys fucking do every day. You know, you know these things. And, and yeah, it, it felt a bit, there was a vacuum there for a minute where it felt like, you know, we've had these great sketch shows that come along and just in Living Color and Mr. Show, mm -hmm. Chappelle, you know, yeah. you have these moments where these things happen that's different. Um, and it hadn't happened for a while. Yeah. But so then you get into writing Get Out, which is just comes... You know, just absolute like a freight train. Just man, just it yeah, just hits yeah. everybody, and it just part really becomes just part of the. In, in, for a while there, just it was the it thing culturally, and and that movie really really grabbed people. And again, though, I was going to say like you kind of used the same principles, right? Like you just kept doubling down on the idea and you kept pushing it out further. You you talked about that before, like how far can I push this idea? What more can I do and surprise people? I think that's it. It's the element of surprise. Yeah. How did you think? What I mean, you've been asked this a million times, and forgive me, I don't know the answer. But every time I watch Get Out, and like I said, one million times. Wow. How did you think? How I mean, it's such a bizarre, brilliant concept. What? Wow, where did you get the idea? Uh, the idea, you know, I, honestly, it's it's just it's life, right? I mean, there there's this that there's this group of wealthy people that buy body parts. <laughs> I mean, it's so <laughs> nuts. Yeah, connection. well, the whole thing started with just that feeling. Okay, if I can if I can capture a a a, a feeling, a horror, a fear that I haven't seen bottled in a film before, yeah. if I can identify that fear, I can make a horror movie out of it. Because mm -hmm. it's there, right? Yeah. Just the way yeah. in sketch comedy, if you get if you if one thing you say can get a laugh, 
I know all you guys, if you get a laugh once, you can get it a million times and you can keep getting it. You know how to yeah, do just that. Just say sashimi, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, a, mil- a million times. Yeah, yeah. and then and the uh, it, but same same kind of thing with horse. Like I know this nugget of I and this fear of being in the most the black guy in a white space where you feeling um, feeling the attention and it, and it's not good. You know? right. yeah. Even if it feels if it's, even if it's supposed to feel good and not good, and it's this thing that I I know that everyone recognizes in their own way, but. So anyway, so it started with like that party sequence in a way was like, okay, that's the, that's the movie. Yeah. But there's a, there's, there's a, there's an element to what you do that you would assume could only really, uh, happen after a lot of practice and a lot of exposure to the filmmaking process. And that is this ability to create an unsettling environment. And there's, there's a camera component to that. There's a there's a sonic component to that, an editorial pace to that. There's a lighting component to that. Where did you where did you find all of that and learn all of that? I mean, right out of the gate in Get Out, the scene on the street at night, yeah. like there was so much patience that you uh, showed in. It was like I'm already nervous out of my mind because things aren't. I think was it a one or I think the. Uh, I mean, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I one mean, shot for like, Tracy, that's where one. do you where do you get off doing that right Tracy, out of? If you're paying attention, it's one shot. Yeah, right out of the gate. Um, w- w- were you encouraged by a DP that you hired? Were you, uh, Tracy, or is it just you're just Tracy? A, you're I just know a this baller. question is long. Are you there? Are you still with us, Tracy? <sighs> Sorry. Um, DP is drinker. Is that is that what you talk about, Tracy? When some some kind of business jargon is dropped? Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's that, but then there's also he's apologizing for my long winded questions, which I am. Uh, prone Sean's to sister do. lives in Wisconsin, and her name yeah. is Tracy, and so we always explain to Tracy. DP um, means cinematographer, and yeah. Warner is without. Cutting. DP can mean cinematographer. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy, look up that shit yourself. <laughs> Tracy, look it up. So where do you get all of this filmmaking talent? Is probably the better economical way to uh, ask it. Thank you. What a what a lovely question. It's watching movies. It's watching movies. I, and and by the way, like I was I started as a puppeteer as what I went to college thinking I was going to do something like that. That's you know? crazy. So this, come on. This, come on. That's what? Crazy. Yeah. This wow. totally, you know, on this this sort of thankless art form that I thought was kind of beautiful and special, yeah. can't really fail at it. But the whole notion is is, is you know, this illusion, right? Right. And then since then, I've I've just I've acted, I've I've you know, and and written, I've in Key and Peel, I've done a lot. I just had a, a great um, uh, experience in the other pieces. Wait, where did you start puppeteering? Puppeteering seems so hard because you have to keep your arms up it, no, or down. It doesn't. Matter. No, well, no, just elevate yourself, and you can hang them down a little bit, Sean. God, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. Where, no, did, yeah. where did you start? Where was that going on, Jordan? Like, where, I, I don't even know where you grew so, up. So when I when I when I went to Sarah Lawrence, my kind of like. My cheeky, in, like uh, liberal arts college, answer to what my major was was I'm a puppeteer, and I was right, I've taken That's so cool. Sculpture, <laughs> fuck theater classes, uh, you know, I was like a real, <laughs> real bohemian oh, motherfucker. Fucking puppeteer at Sarah Lawrence. <laughs> fucking puppeteer so Sarah just, Lawrence, my that's dude. That's all the girls needed to hear, right? Yeah. He's a fucking <laughs> what? He's a yeah. what? Yeah. He he does what with his hands? But where does the confidence come to trust that you're going to be able to transition an audience from something that seems fairly normal into something that is abnormal. Um, I, you uh, you obviously know how to do that in comedy, right? Because you, you got to sort of present as just, well, we're just you, and then we do something that's a little bit un, uh, un, uh, you, uh, that, that's surprising, and then there's a surprise that comes with a laugh. Is it the yeah. same kind of thing with, with doing horror? Is it the same kind of calculation? What? Oh, horror. Yes, yes, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, with, hor- yeah, 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 with, yeah, with horror. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Horror. <laughs> it, is, it is connected, and... You know, I know you. Um, I'm, I know you play around with this in in your own work. There's there's a a rhythm. I always find that horror and comedy are sort of baked into one another because it's about grounding and absurdity, yeah, as best mm-hmm. as possible. Both both is taking a, a swing at to something that is either going to make you um, fucking you know terrified or make you uh, absurd in some way and making it real mm-hmm. and. The difference can be the you know difference between two pieces of music. 
I was just gonna let you know. I don't know if you know this because you know. I don't know if you know that I'm, I'm Canadian, and they changed yeah. uh, your movie, the title "Get Out" in in Canada. They called it "Get Out." Okay, that's, that's great. Yeah. That's, yeah. Guys, you, uh, again, Rob Bennett, are you guys are rolling on all this stuff? <laughs> They're not going to cut that out, you dick. What yeah. do you think? No, no, I just want to make sure we got it? that. I want to make sure we got that. Your, do, do they spell it the two O's and a T, Will, just to finish the joke? Oh, sorry. Jason, why don't you ask uh, Jordan about the lighting packages, yeah. you fucking yeah. dick? <laughs> now, listen. <laughs> Here we come. I don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what I was saying. I don't know what I was. That's okay. We don't either. <laughs> and we will be right back. Thanks to Zip Recruiter for supporting the show. I'm excited to travel this summer. Have you guys ever thought about all the people that make a vacation truly great? You know, like the hotel concierge. It's my, always my first stop whenever I travel. I always go right up to the guy. I'm always like, where do I go to eat? Where do I, what do I see? What are the best sites? Who do I get to help me? Like, and he has all the answers because he's really good at his job. You know, outstanding talent like that is crucial for a successful business. And if you're hiring, you can find talent for roles like these and more at ZipRecruiter when you try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash smartless. ZipRecruiter uses its powerful technology to find and match the right candidates up with your job. You can easily review these recommended candidates and invite your top choices to apply. Additionally, ZipRecruiter has a complete suite of tools that make it easy to filter, review, and rate your candidates. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. No wonder ZipRecruiter is the number one rated hiring site based on G2 satisfaction ratings as of January 1st, 2022. So travel to this easy to remember web destination, ZipRecruiter.com slash smartless. That's where you can try ZipRecruiter for free. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash S-M-A-R-T-L-E-S-S. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Smartless is brought to you in part by Helix. We've been big fans of Helix mattresses for a long time. In fact, we're such big fans of theirs, we all got more mattresses early this year. So what is it that makes Helix sleep so effective? It's their quiz. It takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep reference to the perfect mattress for you. It's the only quiz I can pass, by the way. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattress is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot like me. Mattress is great for spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains. And even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. After my quiz, I got the Helix Dusk Luxe mattress, which fits me perfectly. It's like the most comfortable sleep I've ever gotten in my life. I lay my head down and boom, it's like Goldilocks. And how great is it that this quiz is on your phone? You don't have to like download like a piece of paper and physically you know, do the quiz with a pencil and everything. It's on your phone or your laptop or your iPad or your computer or whatever and it's done. So if you're looking for a mattress, just go to helixsleep.com slash smartless, take the quiz, order the mattress that you're matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door, shipped for free. You don't ever need to go to a mattress store again. They have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash smartless. That's helixsleep.com slash smartless. This podcast is sponsored by CarMax. As you know, every week on SmartList, we get to meet a mystery guest, and we have a lot of fun trying to figure out who it is and getting to know them. Now, while mysteries are great for podcasts, our friends at CarMax know if you're trying to sell your car, the last thing you want is a mystery. You want answers, people. You want certainty, folks, and you want it fast. So if you're selling your car, visit CarMax.com and get a real offer in two minutes or less. That's fast. No mystery, no surprises. Just a real offer to buy your car in two minutes or less. Oh, and you can take a full week to think it over. How great is that? It's what they call car selling reimagined at CarMax. Learn more and get your offer today at CarMax.com. One more time, that's CarMax.com. And now back to the show. Now, when you come up with these original ideas, because none of them are like, it, it's incredible premises and concepts. Is it because Donna Langley and Peter Kramer are so darn smart and courageous at Universal that they're saying, yeah, great, go. Or do you, are you having to do a bunch of yeah. tricks to talk them into, That's what I want to know. don't oh, worry, this shit. is going to be commercial. Like The real you know, questions. Yeah, I mean, real, how do right? you... They're Getting original right the ideas, and, and you're getting this major studio thing. to fund, you know, something that's not kind yeah. of boilerplate concept. I had the same question. 
You know, they, you know, we've, we've, we've had a couple of, uh, situations where they, they've taken, they've taken on, uh, the risk and, and it's paid off, you know, for this one, I, I felt very, very trusted. And, you know, the way, the way I talk to those guys is I, I sound, I, what is my, you hear this? Uh, you, you sound, sound beautiful. Director, Great. Bro? Yeah. No. You sound uh, fucking cool. You're not going to sell pickup trucks like Will Arnett, but um, you can know you sound raspy. You sound. sound I sound good. like Wheezy. Yeah, Jefferson. Wheezy, that's good. Yeah, um, <laughs> Wheezy. <laughs> yeah, I but um, I mean, they gave me a lot of leeway to do some crazy shit in the movie. I, I, I know. But I, you're also there's there's these highbrow themes underneath all of this sticky, you know, fun popcorn stuff too. Like I, I mean, you're you're doing it all. I just. God Thanks, damn. man. How yeah. does it happen? I mean, you're a well, kid. Jason, What's your kid? How old's your Jason, kid? Young Jason, kid. real quick. Yeah. Jason. Drool? Is there too much no, drool? No, your jealousy is showing. Right there, your jealousy is showing. No, it's admiration. No, no, no. Your jealousy right, comes right. out the other side. I, I was going to um, ask you about Chelsea. So I, I know Chelsea yeah. as well. And, yeah. and how how did you guys, how did you and Chelsea meet? Yeah. Peretti, listener. Yep. We met on, on the internet. I just, I DM'd her after I, I, I heard her on a podcast. I, I saw her in do some stand-up, and I was I basically DM'd her. And no way. It was, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's Sometimes awesome. it works. That's Sometimes yeah, it works a lot, up lot actually. Load up Peretti on the straight DMs. Now, can you tell you how, how old you have, you have a, a young boy or girl? I got a, I got a boy named uh, Bo. He's five. Bo. Now, uh. can we tell yet whether he's a, a smart one or a dumb one? <laughs> he's No, he's a very smart. He's, Is a, he? he's a reader. Is he? He's uh yeah, he's 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 a brilliant Wow, he's smarter than Jason man. already. <laughs> um yeah, but I don't um <laughs> you know, he we I'm sure we share some faults. Yeah. Let's put it that way. His his faults I realize. Tell me what you're bad at. What am I shit at? Yeah. I mean, I'm really bad at I mean, keeping things clean, you know. I, I just see somebody and just being uh <laughs> and and spacing out, you know, to the to the bane of my um my wife's existence. Um You'll just check out? Yeah, and I'll try and, you know, it's, it's one of these things you're talking to your son, just bo, 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 yeah. bo. Yeah, focus. Bo, bo, and just nothing, nothing. And I'm re and I realize I'll do the same thing. You know, I realize he'll be saying dad ten times and I'm like Right, but the, maybe that's just concentration, and that's focus, oh. and that's discipline. Well, that's what I, th that's what I think is happening. I, uh -huh. I understand that. I had Alessandra just told me very recently that, like, oh, I forget what it was. <laughs> now I can't even remember again what it was. But I had asked her something, and she goes, I've told you the answer to this yeah. Like four times in the last 24 was hours. Was it her last name? I'm the same way. Why are we all that? Yeah. Why are we all that <laughs> way? <laughs> this is actors, motherfucker. Yeah. We're all dumbasses. Yeah. Really. Yeah, we're all inside our head. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so my, my memory works just for learning lines. <laughs> That's it. Okay, wait, hold on a second. I, because I don't want to get, I don't know how much time we have. I, just, I mean, I just want to respond to uh -oh. Ms. Uh, Jason. For yes, a sir. Second. On your very, ni your very nice things that you said. But I want to say, and I, I don't know how much it's stressed. But you are the first. Guys, let him finish. This sounds like it might be a compliment. You are the first. Basically a compliment. Fucking dry delivery comedy guy I've ever seen in my life. I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> first dry. I'd never seen it before. I'm talking about fucking Hogan. Yeah. Right? Oh, Hogan family, wow. Yeah. Hogan family. Hogan That's family. That's going back a bit. Talking about seeing. Yeah, I'm not. I, bro. We mm -hmm. ain't. We're talking about Hogan. Okay, this is coming out of like, right, this is coming out of an Alex P. Keaton sort of universe yeah, where you yeah, got right. this, you know, little, and yeah. Michael J. jump uh -huh. around. You know, yeah. But you came in with this cadence oh, that I swear. It's the best. It, Has it, it ever happened it's before? Unmatched. What, did it ever? Jordan, Jordan, Who? it's so fucking good. J JB's, uh, let's go on JB, little, little, little compliment yep. thing. Little, and motherfuckers copied. Make, and motherfuckers sure. came and copied, Jason. <laughs> they copied, they <laughs> all copied Motherfuckers came and copied that they all shit. Copied. First of all, I was he stealing and Jason from many. invented, really, when that became a big yeah. thing, I'm telling you, <laughs> and remember how mad I got about that? Because I was yeah. like, that's fucking Batemans. Yep. And I'd see these motherfuckers doing it on other shows and doing it as punchlines <laughs> in, in commercials, and they're like, really? And I'm like, that's Bateman that's fucking it. invented, and we did it on Arrested because I was copying it. him. 
I was copying him. Meanwhile, here's the other thing. When I first met Jason, we were doing the pilot for Arrested Development. This is one of my favorite, it's such a dumb joke. But we're, 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 we're in this rehearsal hall, and this guy comes in, he's a crew guy, and he's covered in tats, the neck, hands, everywhere, just covered. And he walked in, like, right in front of us and kind of, like, started talking to somebody. And Jason, full volume, because he wasn't knew that the guy wouldn't know he was saying, and Jason just turns to me and goes, who's your top dog? <laughs> <laughs> who's your tippy? <laughs> I, and I, think, I fucking, <laughs> I fell to the ground. I was crying. Yeah. Um, I, I've, I've just, I've been trying to do Bill Murray my whole life. Right or or John Cleese uh, or or Ben Stiller no, you got your, you or got your own it, it didn't you didn't got your own. it didn't hit like that it didn't hit like no, that you're very, didn't very hit like nice. no no Murray. I never thought it was quite enough so I took it and mm. just really notched it up <laughs> you did you did you put tap shoes on it yeah it can't you yeah I put that, tap shoes on and I didn't think nobody's, it's not gonna read it's not gonna read so I just really <laughs> hit the back of the room with that. Um, but it is. It is. It's worth. It's worthy of note. Yes. You're yes, very uh, nice. Thank you, you. You had mentioned that a lot of the inspiration for not only Get Out but but Nope and all of your stuff is from movies you've seen. What are your inspirations? What movies do you uh, draw upon, and do you are are stuck in your head as inspirations? Yeah. Who's done it really, really well that you're dying to do it as good as? I would say you have no equal. But <sighs> like, what? Who's been pulling? And this, you? hopefully, this is a compliment. But just from the trailer of Nope, I'm like, oh, it's very M Night. But now. I go, oh, it's very Jordan Peele. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I, 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 I'm a big M. Night fan. Yeah. I think he's uh, one of the greats. Mm -hmm. um, I love uh, Spielberg. I'm, I'm kind of a, it's a kind of a boring answer because I, I, I like Kubrick and, and um, Spielberg. Yeah. Steven yeah. Spielberg. Hitchcock. That's the one. Yeah. That's the yeah. one. <laughs> so, and Tito. No, I know. Tito I'm, I'm joking. I'm being glib, but I like when people go, I don't know. I mean, uh, for me, I, I like the Beatles. Oh, do you? These guys. Oh, you like the Beatles? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's me. While we're here, my favorite Sean Hayes story, did not know Beatles was spelled B-E-A-T. No, by I the way. Just uh, by the way, favorite. By the way, penis, <sighs> lots of people... No. Comments also agreed with me. Those are pity wait, tweets. I didn't know we were calling Bateman penis. I didn't even know that that yeah. was a thing. They're pity tweets. Wait, wait. So, sorry, Jordan. You yeah. Can, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you yeah. like Spielberg and you like Kubrick and... and... Stuff that... Cinematic yeah, well, stuff. now that you put it like that, fucking well, I like fucking Jean... <laughs> yeah. Les Monsieur de Fonds. Uh, you know. No, 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 no. I'm with you. By the way, I'm fucking yeah. with you. So, I'm just... I'm yeah. Just... Can, yeah, yeah, while, yeah. While, we're, while we're there at the yeah. cinematic titans like those guys... Can you just indulge me for one second before we lose the audience about your pursuit and landing of Hoyta? Oh, my god. Where gosh. that came from? This is a cinematographer. Hoyta von Hoytema. Like, yeah. this guy's just nails. How okay. do you get him? Well, I, I tell you how you get him. You make two great movies. Um, yeah. But, yeah. like, was wow. it was it as incredible as you thought it would might be? Like, I would imagine Bro. it would be? Bro, D different level, right? So, I mean, I've, had, I've worked with great cinematographers. I've I got... Um, I've gotten very lucky in, in all of my films. I mean, with Hoyt, I really got a guy who's done it all. Is that how you say it? Hoyt? It, it, it's, it be said Hoyt, Hoyt, Hoyta, Hoyta von Hoytema. You can say it either yeah, way. Okay, well, okay. I say it either way. I hope he's not angry. I've just never known. He's, uh, he's, he's an absolute beast. I mean, he's just, uh, and, and what, what we were able to do with this movie is, is push ground in ways that, I don't even really want to talk about because I don't want to take some well, of the uh, experience yeah, from right. the audience. But, yeah. um, you know, he, we push technology with infrared um, cameras. Wow. And uh, he's just, he, yeah. So we, we got on this. It was just like, it's just exactly what you want as a director. Like this adventure where you're in over your head, but you've got this salt of the earth fucking dp who knows it all who's like come oh, this guy's this dutch guy this jolly dutch guy with his beard and he's like hey it's gonna be all right we're gonna figure yeah. this out by the way that's a good dutch accent that's fucking great thank you yeah i just like i don't know how, how do you gather when you have such a specific and unique um flavor to your films how are you able to crew that and cast that appropriately to where everybody is as crafty and clever as you are because they or do all you just vendor it or do you just vendor it do you vendor it because well, i have apple pay but i'll take venmo um it's i mean you know the thing it's like the the team building is the thing if you get that part right it, it it's it, re it really flows but um yeah you uh you just talk to people who uh, for me I'm, I'm talking to people who are inspired by the idea and in a way that 
it's not, you know, in every department, it's not going to be me telling, saying this is what goes. It's going to be me about the collaboration between me and this person. Right. So if I'm excited about what they're excited about, yeah. and maybe they're excited about something that I didn't even know to be excited about. Letting them do their thing. We're yeah. going in that direction together. Yeah. That's did great. you, did you, so you, t you touched on something really briefly in there when you were talking, um, you said that that you don't want to take away from people's experience, and and I I, I don't know if I've I've had this experience myself. I remember doing uh, answering something uh, questions about uh, when we were doing BoJack Horseman a few years ago, and I Ultra kind of applause. yeah, yeah and, I, and I kind of didn't want to be too much of a dick about it, and I said you know. I, I feel like sometimes there's too much emphasis on you know how the sausage is made and not enough enjoying mm. of the sausage, uh, and. Uh -huh. our, and I kind of got that feeling when you said that, that it's like, look, I could talk ad nauseum about how I made this film and what kind of cameras and what kind of shots we did, but you didn't do make the film so that you could explain that to the right. audience. You did all that shit, and hopefully it's seamless, and they don't know what that is, and they right. just, they experience it. Is right. that right? That's right. And, and, you know, the only the only reason I bring it up is to give Hoyt No, you props. didn't bring it up. I did, yeah. I'm, I'm dorking out <laughs> Jason on this did. stuff, yeah. I, Fair enough, but but the but the yeah, I, I mean the the only reason I even tell you that there there was some really interesting ground pushed at all, so it is just, just so you know, like yeah, that to answer that question, he's um he he's a, a real master. Yeah, and and you, again, you didn't bring it up, and uh, obviously this is what we do, and so we're asking the questions because we are, and Jason's interested, in, and our audience is too, and I and Sean and I are really interested, but I just mean more generally. Do you feel sometimes like you wish that you didn't have to answer questions about it and just let it the work speak for itself? Does that ever is that ever something that kind of annoys you or gets in the way? You know, the, it, 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 I think it can get in the way, and it was an interesting experience because I think with Get Out, you know, it, it, it you know Get Out, at, you know, it, it had a lot of success, but it, it was also there was a lot. I was talking about it a lot. Yeah. And, and and sort of trying to help the audience put together the dots on it. And I don't know if it needed that, maybe not, you know, in the long run, but to get people to see it. And, you know, my entry point into film was sort of telling people what I did. Right. You know, mm -hmm. when it got to us, you know, all of a sudden we have something that is a bit of a vaguer notion of how to discuss. Mm. And uh, so I f felt like the responsibility to that film was to not sort of take the audience through it, but to let them experience it more. Yeah. You know, I think with this film, I, I, I'm going to approach it letting the, the film lead a bit. But, you know, I, I do want the audience to know it, it was about spectacle and mm -hmm. um, and that it, it was about the theatrical experience in, in its core. Mm -hmm. uh, in this idea of I, I felt like, all right, I've got, I've got this position, I've got this responsibility to try and do that thing where I make some original shit that's just a fucking spectacle. The title cannot be beaten. I, yeah, there's no so better good. title for any film. Thank you. Ever. Hey, hey, hey. Can you tell us a little bit, like, just from a, I'm, just from a fan's point of view, like I am, like, can you tell us a little bit about Nope? Like, can you tell us what the word Nope means in the movie or what we're looking at in that trailer that they're looking at? Any kind of uh, exciting anything? Yeah, I mean, look, it's uh, the... It's a, it's a. I'll say this. It's a, it's a word that's said a lot in the movie, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it generally is something that you know. Part of the, the notion of this movie is like we got a big budget flying saucer movie, with black people in the lead. Mm -hmm. That to me in itself, you know, there, there's no, there's no need to really uh, dig further in terms of how to push the conversation than to just mm -hmm. fucking do it, right? Yeah. That, yeah. that should be, that should just be on the one sheet, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, right. If you want. Yeah. And well, and then, it, I mean, it kind of is. It's like the nope part of it is, uh, yeah, I, I think, an acknowledgement that, you know, it is a different movie. You can't yeah. just make the same movie. Yeah. You know, and, the, and there is a, an experience that people want to see deal with this shit as well. And, um, you know, I, I uh, and, and, and I would also say it's a film that, that feels like it's a, it's a concept uh, in a way. 
But you know, there's there there is also an, an acronym to it that I think a lot of people online oh. have oh. sort of pieced together. I, I well, okay. I I, th I think I know what it is. You want to guess? You go. For, you okay. go for it. Guess, and you don't have to say yes or no. Uh, yeah. Not of planet Earth. Well, uh, yeah. I th Whoa. Yeah. Did you just know? Did you just know that? Second, well, Will? yeah. You're I just not guessed that it. smart. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were gonna say something. Um, Funny and wrong. Not of planet Earth is pretty but good. But that was not funny and, and right. Wait, how in the world did you... I would have never... That's got to be it. You fucking hmm. idiot. All right. Well, let's... Um, sorry. Well, yeah. that's the end of the interview. Thanks, Phil. I don't need to see <laughs> No, what? I just guessed yeah. it. I'm good at Wordle and no, Quirtle no, hey, and Octortle. That's pretty wild. Yeah, you sure are, boy, this guy. <laughs> that's really um, good. All right. Now, because of... Getting back to sort of your 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 yes. taste, your, your, uh, your radar for uniqueness and originality, what are you watching? What are you reading? I was going to um, ask the same. Who are you yeah. talking to yeah. that keeps that sharp, that keeps you kind of... Not postmodern, but but knowing w where the next idea is going to come from, that's going to make the last idea seem not so original. It's a great question. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm there's so uh, so much immersion into my own up my own ass. Yeah, that it's hard to. Um... <laughs> you say you smoke a lot of weed. Is that is that what is that, is that what you say? It's, <laughs> it's as simple as just yeah. getting the right strain of indica. Well, oh, I see, and I see what you're saying. Between even when I'm fucking, well, yes. First of all, yes. <laughs> when I'm coming up with shit, that's that is kind of an important part, piece of the puzzle. You know, I like uh, anime okay. because anime is just high concept world building that is pulled off so well. Mm -hmm. There's these big swings, and there's there's uh, that it, it's a it's a great way to free yourself and say, look, you can tell a fucking crazy story, and people do pull that shit off. Right. You know, there are storytellers in the world that are pulling off really crazy things that are super popular. Right. And so that's that's one one place. Right. Right. Gotcha. All right. So you anime? Are you watching any comedy? I find it hard to watch comedy. I don't know why. It's I know. weird. Right? I know. It's broken. It's broken. I mean, I think it's probably broken for us, but maybe for... Tell me why. Well, yeah, where is it? Is it on television or is it in film right now or is it on stage? Is it stand-up? Is it... Um, where is where is funny shit happening? Some funny shit. Uh, I mean, you know what's funny is uh, Pen15 is funny. Yes. We, I just worked with Gabe Liedman, who created that show in another show. Yeah, it's great. Gabe's great. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know uh, that show. I, you know... Yeah, I haven't seen shit. I haven't seen shit, but it, it, it is. It's. It's. I. I do feel like we've been in this weird comedy drought where people want to laugh, but uh, some somehow it's hard. Well, it, isn't it a lot like it's just become fragmented with TikTok and Instagram and stuff, where you can get your mm. comedy uh, fill through ten, five second, ten second things. So people are maybe uh, not so um, inclined to go tune into an entire series. I, mean, I don't know. Just throwing that out yeah. there. I have no idea. Well, I do know, Sean, I think that you're right. I know that from my own <clears throat> experience in, in dealing with streamers that they tell us that, you know, they have a hard time getting people to stay through and watch multiple multiple episodes in comedy. It's really, wow. really, really, really tough, difficult. It's crazy. Wow. I know. We'll be right back. Hey, SmartList listener, this episode is brought to you by Zelle. Zelle is a great way to send money to family and friends no matter where they bank in the U.S. Here's an example of how we pay each other with Zelle. So I was visiting Will at his house on the East Coast, and I said, let's go out to dinner. He said, great. So we went to this restaurant, a bunch of us. I said, I'm going to pay. And of course, we ate the food. It was great, great time, laughing. The bill comes. Oh, my God. I left my wallet at home. So embarrassed. But guess what? I did have my phone. So I pulled out my phone and I went to my banking app and I paid him right then and there with Zelle. It was so fast and so easy and it took care of my embarrassment. I was so happy. Look for Zelle in your banking app today. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. You know, I think it's really important to take care of your mind because if you don't have your health, you don't have wealth, right? Uh, it's something people forget about, and it's something people kind of uh, prioritize later on the list of, of taking care of themselves. You know, a lot of people are scared to try therapy, and I'm not sure why. Um, I suppose when I first started going to therapy, um, I, was, I was uncertain about it. I was like, so it's kind of fear of the unknown. But after the first one, you realize, oh, why didn't I do this sooner? It's so, it's so easy, and it's so 
quite simply helpful. So how well would you take care of, let's say, your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? That's how our brains work. So why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life. So it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also better help online therapy. I use therapy to clear my mind, to center myself, so that I can focus on other things in life and be there for people and other experiences that need my help. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash smartless. That's betterhelp.com slash smartless. Thanks to Audible for their support. With my schedule and how I'm always on the go, I don't have a ton of time to do the things I want to do, like a reading. That's why I love Audible. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre that is French for genre. From bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and more. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. All Audible members get access to a growing selection of audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts that are included with membership. You can listen to all you want, and more get added every month. You know what's great about Audible? You can listen to it anywhere. I listen to it sometimes when I'm traveling. It's great when I'm working out. It's like a nice distraction, and it's you're working out and getting exercise while learning something. I also do it like, you know, doing chores. If I'm doing, like, dishes or laundry, who am I kidding? Scotty does that. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, be inspired, or be entertained. New members can try it for free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash smartless or text smartless to 500-500. That's audible.com slash smartless or text smartless to 500-500 to try Audible free for 30 days. And now, back to the show. Now, uh, is Chelsea a good uh, a good sounding board for you? Like, is she is she reading pages or drafts and or or watching cuts of things and and giving you good feedback? I know it's always tricky with a partner. Um, you know, that that little balance there. I, I'm, I'm sure she's incredibly helpful, but uh, that's a dance, right? She is incredible. I mean, you know, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I love her is she's just always going to be honest and. Yeah. tell me the the truth and you know it's like you know there's a certain point especially in this industry where you know i'm sure you guys know that's like there's nothing more attractive than that you know yeah. and nothing yeah yeah i think we're all lucky on this call here yeah um, <laughs> now what about yeah. now you shot it looked like you shot this thing in town um here in, in los angeles uh in santa clarita perhaps as it's uh as the website mm-hmm. says right that by That's the way right. you guys what you need to know <laughs> i don't correct me if i'm wrong here jordan this is the first time that a film has a uh a a an amusement park there at universal studios tour mm-hmm. being uh released germane to the movie on the same day the movie is being released. Usually a oh, movie wow. has to earn that by becoming super, super successful. And then four, five, six years later, they have like a ride. The, he's got a, a, a you, you explain it, Jordan, but it's incredible what he's done here. Uh, what? Uh, explain this a little bit a, about it. I mean, yeah, a big deal for me. I'm, I'm yeah. Universal Studios. I remember going when I was 12. It's, it's yeah. cool. you know, you see like fake. It's like, the experience, like the 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 fake version of what it what it yeah. means to make a movie, you know, yeah. it's like, like this is where you know Jaws was shot. It's like yeah. no, it's not, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's meant to look <laughs> psycho house and so yeah. yeah, the whole like artifice of By the way, it. That was but... Jason's backyard. Like Jason played there when he was a kid. No joke, <laughs> yeah. no joke. That's yeah. where he, he was. Is that true? Yes. That's what, yeah, just doing silver spoons and it's your move. Me and Ricky would would around back there on our brakes on our bikes anyway go how ahead. about that so you know you yeah. know how i mean and i when i went for the first time i was just blown away and so now i mean look we're on the lot now and just feel that magic again and and yeah we've got um you know stephen yun's character um jupe park in the film has a uh, an amusement park called jupiter's claim and it's one of the centerpieces of the of the film and so that's going to be on the studio tour oh, wow. like fucking in between 
the psycho house and and jaws. That's so you cool. Know, That's so cool. So, yeah. And is it sort of without without giving away anything with the movie? Is sort of is the ride of this place? Is it kind of like a haunted house or a fun house kind of um, like 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 the website is that you can kind of click around on? You know, like all of the things on that tour, there is yeah. going to be a certain amount of uh, interactivity. Got it. Okay. But you know, it's um, but the 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 thing that you know, real ner- movie nerds are gonna geek about upon the um, uh, the hopeful embrace of this film is just yeah. that it's it's there. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> that's so that's cool, so cool. That they did that. That's that that is really really awesome. Yeah. Now, do you have to fly around and do a bunch of uh, promotion for this, or are you able to do it all with Zoom no. nowadays with the, with the COVID, or you, they got you on a world tour or something? I'm gonna do a tour. Yeah. I'm gonna do. Uh, they're gonna cart me away to some places. Mm. I'm just going to um, shut my eyes and and open them and and mm-hmm. and try to figure out where I am. And then uh, and then, do you like to take some downtime before you start writing the next thing, or are you already underway with that? You know, writing is kind of. I mean, it is. It is the downtime. That's nothing. Nothing more fun than being in those early stages. Of of a of what 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 is really the next one? I mean, and it's, it's a very relaxing. If if I'm doing it right, it's a very freeing month. You know, do you, you want to like stay in the horror genre for a while, or is there some kind of dream of like wanting to do something completely, you know, left turn, a musical? You know, one of <laughs> one of the things that has been is fun for my in my journey in these first three films has been. A little bit of the deconstruction of what I feel like genre is, and what the what the role of genre is I in storytelling. I mm-hmm. like this. Yeah, you like this? Not so yeah. check this one out. Well, so in that first <laughs> one, <laughs> in that first one, I was really using a very specific type of suspense thriller genre yeah. trope. Yeah, yeah. And 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 get, you know, Get Out. It it, it fits in that. In that world, and so the that helps the, the the pieces of it. I think that are outside of the box sing because there is a, a checkpoint. There's a genre checkpoint. That's genre. I think used very well. Yeah. At least at least for in, in, you know it worked. So then you know us. I really kind of focused on the horror idea, mm-hmm. you know, and the specificness of no something um, a little bit more um, threatening to the core of existence. Mm. And, and scary in that way, and and in, in a lot of ways, worked within that 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 uh, genre as well. You know, with this one, I feel like this idea that's been bubbling in in these other two films with Nope, I think has come into fruition. Where I can't really pin it down to a, a genre anymore. It kind mm. of it, it is all it is all things. Uh, uh, and and I think I probably could do that. You, but you've always you've you've kind of delved into a lot of bigger issues. And I would suggest I didn't even think of Get Out as a horror movie at all. And I'm saying horror. Um, I didn't think of it as a horror movie at all. I thought of, I mean, it, it is. I guess yeah, it's like a thriller. Yeah, it's a thriller. But you, you, I mean, it'd be hard. You know, you're dealing with a lot of like big issues. You're asking a lot of questions, yeah. and you're and you're making some. You're you're bringing up a lot of things that I think make some people uncomfortable, and I think you're doing it in a way you're serving it in a way that is like it, it maybe seems familiar to them. But then mm-hmm. you're like, but well, but guess what, motherfucker, you better think about this yeah, shit right, and, exactly. and think about what what the experiences of other people who aren't you may be having. And you kind of do it, and maybe us is about like our own. Uh, you sort of mentioned it, like it's very sort of an existential question about you know as as human beings and blah blah blah. I like the idea that you're you're kind of like I guess they're in horror, but you're dealing with a lot of pretty fucking yeah. big universal issues. Man. It doesn't seem like you're you're you set out to to make no. a horror movie or a genre movie. You're making no. you're it seems like you're leading with theme and then yeah. kind of backing mm-hmm. into well maybe this medicine will go down well if we wrap it up with something that's a little bit uh, kind of scary here mm-hmm. or sci-fi here. I, or, w- I, w- I withdraw my question. <laughs> no, but I mean, in the same way that you lampooned it when you when you did Key and Peele, man, you did a lot of you took on a, 
so many sketches that you did where you took on the idea of race and challenged it and did it from a different perspective in ways that were really funny, but also like really fucking right on the fucking money, man. And you've kind of you're kind of doing that same thing, but now in it in you're doing it in film and yeah. you're using I mean, I sound like now I sound like Babin, but you're yeah, using light and you're great. using <laughs> no, yeah. and you're you're doing it in a cinematic way. Like you're I like I, I think that you defy genre. So anybody who says that Jordan Peele is this, I say fuck that. He's everything. Oh uh, well, oh yeah. Well, th well th thank you. And, and at the same time, you know, just to stress, you know, I think a lot of people, you know, if I make any sort of distinctions from like the horror genre at all, I I I, I want to. You know, a lot of people think a horror is a bad word. Sure. I think it's actually the greatest genre. And and I think it is um, one that I'm honored to to take part in. The true, I, I have to say, the true spirit of great horror is really to fuck somebody up on some on some terror level that I still have not uh, so, sort of a, approached the darkness <laughs> that <laughs> that uh, is needed. So I just have so much respect for horror. And I'm so I'm honored to be a part of it. Yeah, and 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 I didn't mean to suggest that it was that it wasn't worthy at all as genres go. It's fucking great. I agree with you. I'm just saying that. Yeah. I think that what you do kind of transcends transcends the idea of genre. Yeah, and it seems yeah. like you're using it or, or attracted to it because of it. The, it's it's power and it's accelerant for whatever sort of human condition story you're talking about. Like, you know, when you mentioned Kubrick, like you think about, you know, he, the only thing that he ever did that was close to horror was The Shining. And there wasn't a lot of, that wasn't, you know, there wasn't some slasher film, you know, that, you know, a bunch of jump scares. Yeah. It was just deeply unsettling, but it was earned through its filmmaking, through its acting, through its mm -hmm. writing, through its cinematic elements. I mean, like, that's what you do. You're not, like, anybody can, like, make a big sound and do a big, you know, fucking snap zoom or whip pan and, like, scare somebody. You know, like, you're not doing that. You're creating these environments that are unsettling, and that's not easy to do. And uh, I just, I think you're just, like, like, the most exciting filmmaker we've got right now. Thank you, man. Look, I... You guys are fucking awesome. I mean, I think, you know, just the last... Do you have any shit stories? Yeah. <laughs> shit, as in... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> as in what? <laughs> you ever been on a set in the middle of nowhere and you really got to go to the bathroom, but there's nothing around? There we go. Sean's going to walk uh, you on right a set? No, yeah. no. Um, that's a, no you know, I, I'm kidding. You know. No, but, but, but no, I mean, let's, let's just talk about the set portos for a second. Yeah. Sure, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. You know... Yeah, because you keep it real, right? You say, no, no, I don't want the, I don't want the double pop out thing. Just get me a honey wagon, something. More. Yeah, but you can't make it back to the honey. You, you, you can't yeah. make. Oh, you, you, oh, you. yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, Wait, you're talking about one of those fucking f four pies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he needs the four pie. <laughs> one but of those Jason, four slots. Jason doesn't have the. He doesn't even know what he's talking about because he's he goes to the bathroom once in the morning before a shower, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then That's and then it. he's never running the risk of going to the bathroom on set ever, yeah. ever. Well, yeah. I don't. There's not a lot of animals on the planet <laughs> that need to empty more than once a day. Will. <laughs> yeah. So you have a. You guys have a, a difference in, in regularity. Is what yes, you know. have, yeah. there's a difference yeah. in regularity. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm sorry to end on such a low point, um, but <laughs> no. um, it wasn't you've been that very bad. generous. It uh, talking to us, even just a, just agreeing to do the show, period. Yeah, yeah. dude, Thanks Jordan, Jordan we're such guys. fans, man. I've been a fan of yours from every everything you do. I love what you do, you're, and you're such a cool guy, and you haven't changed a, a, an iota, so that's a great testament. You're a good dude. Yeah, yeah. keep charging, please. Thank you, man. Yeah. You guys, yeah. yeah. On and on. I, I love you. Love you. This ya. is love great. I, I really hope I can uh, come, see, come see you guys again. Yeah, and, please do. Um, fuck around some more. I'll come yeah. up with that scat story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah good, good scat story. Um, best of luck with uh, with Nope. Uh, I'm yeah. going to be first yeah, in line. I can't wait. And um, hurry up and Thank make you. more, please. Yes. And just to, you know, just to take the James Cameron approach for a second. I, mm. the, you know, I'm finishing this movie right now. It will make your eyes melt out of the back of your eye sockets, fall down in through your nasals. And down your esophageal. This okay. is you selling the film you right now? You, sh you scat it out, <laughs> and and then you fucking eat you, you eat your eyes shit. This is the, okay. we've got our quote. And eat. then you can see your own fucking heart 
pulse <laughs> racing. Wow. Save it for the junket, doing. Jordan. You're wasting all the good stuff. <laughs> That's it. You got, got the exclusive <laughs> hot take. Um, no, no. I just want to stress it's, 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 it's going to be a fucking spectacle. Yeah, I, can't uh, wait, I cannot man. wait. I can't it wait. looks so, so Can't good. wait for you guys to see it. Uh, all right, man. Best of luck. Thank you for coming on. And uh, right. we'll you. talk to you on the next one. Thank you, guys, honestly. Thank um, you, Jordan. Thank I you, am. I, I really, I could, give, I could give you guys each. I know, Will, I know you. I could give you guys each fucking solid notes? half hour on uh, neat notes and uh, <laughs> how, much <I> love your, <laughs> how much I love your work. And so I didn't want to. We're right yeah, back so at you. Guys you. Are, you guys are Truly. all just fantastic. I, I hope to hang. Yeah, man. Thanks, pal. That would be great. Best of luck, dude. Take Thanks. care, Jordan. Bye, buddy. Cool. Wow, that Jordan Peele. That Jordan Peele. He has yeah. turned the movie industry on his goddamn head by he barged his way into films, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And it just kicked the door open yeah, and it, it stayed it open. Yeah. And now he's bringing us, um, I mean, the, the horror genre is like, one of the few genres that's working in in theaters still, thank God. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But he's also, but he's also doing it in such a cinematic way, and yeah. these like social themes well, that are in it. So uh, he's so fucking smart. You can't write a show like he and Peel and do that so consistently and so and have it be so good and so funny for all those years and not be a fucking brilliant guy. And yeah, he's just sure. shown again. I hope he wasn't like offended when I said, you know, that we knew him from all this stuff, and then. Get Out came out. I was like, wow, Jordan. Like, didn't, no, weren't you God, thinking no. that too? He's, like, oh, he's, no way. I mean, he's. I was he's, offended. He wasn't. I was. <laughs> yeah, no, I could see it in Will's face, but not I Jordan. Was, I was. Um, He's got to. He's got to know that he's got to. I mean, I'm sure. I would hope that that was part of his excitement too. That, yeah. like, you know, whenever you excel at something you're not known for, it, yeah. it's got to be a thrill. Yeah, it's um, a thrill, yeah. And so, um, also, like, yeah, you can't be mad if you're like some person who came. Not him. I don't mean him specifically, but you could see how people were like, "Well, yeah, I've always, I've always thought I was great." Yeah. Well, we didn't know. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Exactly. And now we're and we're now we're finding out that yeah, you're great. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. But I don't mean, mean mean that for him. I do think that what he did before, I I always thought you know writing really consistently good funny sketch like that and doing it in that way is so hard. Yeah. So fucking you guys know it's almost impossible. Sketch is so uneven and, un, and 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 rarely people always go like oh i remember snl back in the day it was used to be way better than it is now it's funnier all the time like no there was always if you had one good sketch an episode right. success yeah. yeah for sure and key and peel now they didn't do it live but they they would have just brilliant it just it's just brilliant anyway um wait i have a question about the dodger game yeah so um how well, long wait a second wait a second are we we, you want to talk about tonight's plans in front of our audience right now? Go yeah, ahead, Sean. Wanna, They'll sure they'd love to hear it. No. Where, what route are you taking and what are you going to wear? What lot are you in? Do Wait, they have egg is... salad there, do you think? Or should I eat before I leave? By the way, all questions I have. Yeah, let's hear it. How long is the game? Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh my God! He I, wants to leave already. No, no, you haven't even I, left your house you know why? yet. You're getting ready. To I want to watch Get Out. I didn't say how long is each half. Um, <laughs> it's a roughly <laughs> three hours, but you know, you only need to dip in and dip out for about an no, hour. No, I'm excited to go. That's probably all we're gonna do because I'm bringing, you know, Maple. Um, oh, fun. And, and probably with shorter attention span is Amanda. In fact, she may actually even flake. I can't believe that you got Amanda to go. No, yeah. Amanda will go. Well, because you know it's a luxury suite, you know, so she uh, she can be up there and uh, you know watching the TV and and having snacks and sitting on a couch. It's a luxury it's a suite. I'm just imagining if that Paul McCartney oh, explaining to somebody who he loves who he calls sweet and he's why excited. all of a sudden are we? <laughs> it's a luxury. <laughs> Sorry, because we're back. To the, it's a luxury suite. Did you find a gummy <laughs> store there in the Hamptons? Well, no, it does. It does. It does seem like a very high thing to say. Are you um, going to bring your own food, Jace? Or are you going to no, get man? There oh, hang, hang buy on a second. it, buy it, oh. buy it. I love Sean's. Uh, he always, Sean, he always goes high Sean, with it, Sean, and he repeats it. Sean, we're having a conversation over here, and you're trying to do a buy on your own. And like, you do have a hard out. <laughs> what if I just slam my laptop? I, mean, I guess. I guess buy. I, I guess, guess it that's uh, well. A better, better answered here. You know, you will be out by <laughs> ten o'clock tonight. Okay. Bye. Smart. Smart. 
Smartless is 100% organic and artisanally handcrafted by Rob Armjarf, Bennett Barbaco, and Michael Granteri. Smartless. I'm very excited that you're here. Oh my gosh, my friend! This I, I not not more than I am, not more than I am. I cannot wait. Oh, impossible. Yeah. Okay. No, honored, uh, honored. So you've met Bennett and Rob. I am sorry. I met these guys. On Jason's behalf, we apologize for us. <laughs> yeah. The weird part is that Rob nor Bennett play any musical instrument at all. That is, I don't believe That's it. That's the shocking part. No, no, no. These yeah. are just CG backgrounds. Yeah. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't believe yeah. this is a jam band that produced a new hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, that's that's a real strong T-shirt you're bringing today. Oh yeah, show them the bottom. Show them the the other stuff. The in the oh, studio, yeah. straight Zimmer. The in the studio. <laughs> wait, wait, behind the Pro he, Tools rig it, is the best. Is he playing a keytar on the back? <laughs> I love it. It really is like oh. you know. It really is a very bootleg Hans Zimmer shirt. <laughs> we went to Disneyland for Rob uh, Andrea's birthday recently. They were both wearing this shirt at Disneyland matching. God. Can I tell you something? I, I also have a picture. I have a shirt that has Hans Zimmer's face <laughs> and the name Hans Zimmer on it. No way. It's <laughs> just a, complete, a completely different shirt. I'm not joking. Amazing. I mean, I'm not lying. I do. The idea that there's actually two shirts in existence on the planet that have Hans Zimmer's name and face on it, and the two dudes that have them. Yeah, this is <laughs> everything. Shock. There's very little I could do to actually make make it clear that I do have that, but I do. I do have Kismet. One. Yeah. Kismet. Should we let Will Arnett in the in the room? Yeah, let All him right, in. I'm, I'm going dark. Okay. Go dark. All right. Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 